Okay. Hey, Annie Lynn. Hey, Effie. Hey. Hi. Hey. We got some of our Occupy the Farm fam here. Hey, how are you? It was great to see you. You guys did an amazing job, by the way. Hey, do you know if they're straight ahead? Okay, I guess we'll just find out. Hey, um, whoever's watching, can you guys look on Twitter or look at the streams and tell me the location of the march? I can hear them. It's guilty as hell. Convict, send that killer cop to jail. Convict, send that killer cop to jail. It's guilty as hell. Convict, send that killer cop to jail. Whole damn system. Guilty as hell. Convict, send the killer cop to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Convict, convict, send the killer cop to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Okay, y'all, I just got here and ran into another crowd. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> awesome. And now... Hi! Right? God, could you see you? I'm hella excited. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. I got the monopod. Yeah, fucking home, Gran. Hi, love. Good, how are you? I'm good. Are these people coming from here? I have no clue. I just was trying to find you guys and ran into them and was like, great, I'm in the right place. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's already a thing going on over there. Yeah.
Okay, so I'm gonna try to get closer. Okay, you guys, Occupy the Mob. Uh, I just found Occupy the Mob, Basim and Z are somewhere in the crowd, huh? Yeah, everybody in the crowd somewhere. I found Occupy the Mob. We about to try to get a better viewpoint for you guys. You just saw the size of the crowd, it's amazing. But I got the monopod, so I should be able to show that continuously. We want justice, we want justice, we want justice, we want justice. Uh, we want thank you. Thank you, Sister Wanda. Thank you, Sister Wanda. I want to take just a moment and point out that in addition to being executed every 28 hours, that, that uh, thousands and thousands and thousands more black men, women, and people are languishing on the other side of the wall. That if they can't kill us, they jail us. And it's not just our men, 
black women are the fastest growing population of new uh, prisoners in this country. So if they can't silence us and they can't kill us, they jail us. And God forbid you be politically conscious and let alone active because they throw you under the jail. You get caught with a George Jackson book and you gang affiliated. It's all right, I rocked with that gang all day. The George Jackson gang, all day. I want to bring up Sister Amani. More beautiful young voices. Y'all come on, more beautiful young voices. This sounds with you out here, give it up. So beautiful black young voices. Um, I just want to dedicate this to all the families who have been affected by police brutality. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been riding around with some words on my lips. With the sun in my eyes and the lake to my hips But some people got shot and some people's breath stilled I said a lot of people died this summer I said a lot of mothers cried this summer I said a lot of brothers died this summer And some boys got shot, dark complexion, white cop And some heart monitors stop, rest in peace grandma, I love ya I just wanna fly into the sky but mama, no more funerals and no more headlines line And no more street side altars or teary gas protest lines mm, It's supposed to be summertime fine mm, It's supposed to be summertime fine I keep seeing obituaries Typed across my Twitter timeline, a coroner's report on HuffPost. A man was choked to death on the streets by the NYPD hashtag rest in peace with no context. How do you interpret that story? Brown boy laid to the street slick and shot down seven times quick. There are roses on the yellow divider for you. This is your street side altar. I hope you are honored by these protests. Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Alex Nieto. This shouldn't be a trial for how your skin absorbs the light anymore. Brown boys, I know too many of you. I know, I know too many of you. I can't hear any more eulogies for you. This, okay, give me a second. <laughs> Brown boys, I can't hear any more eulogies for you. I know too many of you for this not to hit home anymore. This is now breaking foundations leveling. This is now stay inside, little brother. We live in a white rights neighborhood and I don't want you outside past the street lights. Make sure those chips don't look like Skittles. Make sure you keep your head down, walk fast. Your childhood has passed already and I've been riding around with these words on my lips, with the sun in my eyes and the lake to my hips. But this country's been sick and the people need to heal. I said a lot of people died this summer. I pray to God that you'll save my brothers. I pray to God that you'll save my brother. This country's always been hot. We gotta fight, this is our shot. You gotta give it all you got. There is no beauty with an absence Woo! of color. I just wanna fly into hey! the sky. Sing it. promise no more hands in your pockets. Sitting down and standing to the side. It was supposed to be summertime fine. Mm. It was supposed to be summertime fine. Thank you. High school student. She's a high school student. That's our future right there, that's why we're out here. 
I need to ask him. Hold Joshua on, y'all. I'm trying to yet. get my battery situation together. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. The next thing I want to do is make room and space while I'm talking for any other family members that have lost their loved ones to state terrorism to make their way to me, please, whether you are on the program or not. If you are here, we make space for you. And while that's happening, I want us to look towards 13th Street and give a big Oakland what's up to our Berkeley comrades who just marched in from Berkeley. significant is I don't know how many of you had time to check the news in the last day or so today but an effigy hanging by a noose was found at Saber Gate on UC Berkeley's campus this morning you all don't sound outraged maybe you didn't hear me I said an effigy hanging by a motherfucking noose was found on UC Berkeley's campus this morning racism is a lie well, thriving and kicking in America, ka, ka. and we have to stay in these streets. That's right. It's coming at us from all angles. We do. We have to stay. Now I want to turn over the mic to this sister, Rachel Guido. Hi. This is amazing. Amazing. My son was 15 when he was shot down by the South San Francisco Police Department. Fuck the police! Fuck 15. The police. How many 15 year olds are out there today? Make noise. Can I hear some noise? Where are the teenagers? Are they here today? Yeah. Where's the high school students? Yeah. We're out here for you. Yeah. We're out here for you. I've always had this thing with the police. It's not a black thing, it's not a white thing, it's not an oriental thing for me. It's a police thing for me. It's a mindset that needs to change. I was protesting in San Francisco last week and it was a wonderful, wonderful protest, unfortunately for a horrible, horrible cause. But when I looked out and saw all the police that surrounded us just for that second of silence where everything, you know, how everything just stops and stands still probably like it did that night my son was shot I looked out and as I looked out, this is what I saw I saw one black, one black police officer among, among so many so, so, so many others. Why is that? Why aren't our children on that police force? How come we don't set up schools and situations for that mindset to change? Because that's the only way it's going to change. When we start telling our kids, hey, baby, go to school, get those straight A's, and how about being a police officer? How come? I want my baby to be on the force because until that generation after generation after generation after generation of mindset changes, nothing will change. We can protest till we're blue in the face, but it has to happen within. I am so happy to see all these supporters because when my son was killed, it was so hard to get 250 people just together to get for one protest. I hate to see that we have to come out in these type of numbers. But I am glad to see that people are hearing our our struggle because that phone call is not good. It's not great. I carry it with me every day. But guess what? I didn't get a phone call. I didn't get a knock at the door. The police never came to my house. They didn't tell me. My son was a John Doe all the way to the hospital and all the way to the morgue. 
Don't let it happen to you. <laughs> Don't be next. Stand up now. Thank you. I want to make sure that any of the families that are surviving being victims of state terror, your no, families that have lost their family members to state terror. Okay. I can't see. All right. And then I, we were going to make space. Okay. All right. We were going to make space for someone from the Cal BSU to talk about the atrocity that happened on the campus, but they're not ready. Uh, I can't see. I cannot believe. Okay. I can't hear you. The thousands and thousands and thousands of people that came out here today. Across the country, I'm on focus on Oakland, but my sister just corrected me. There are thousands and thousands across the country that are in the streets right now, yeah. claiming our streets for black lives. That's right. Claiming our streets for black lives. We are in a critical moment in time right now. I believe that we are in the middle of the next largest social movement this country has ever fucking seen. seeing new leaders and new voices and new faces new leaders and new faces and new voices coming up across the country there's momentum building the protests and the marches are important all of the tactics are important calling attention to the atrocities happening in the lie of this country are important they have to be tied to strategic, calculated, and long-term organization. I'm gonna say it one more time because I don't think you heard me. Long-term, strategic, calculated organization. organization. If you're not in one, join one, start one. Make a plan, because they have one. Right. Yeah. They are sitting in a very well-funded think tank right now, figuring out how to squash this, dreaming up the next coin tail pro. Maybe they're gonna put a little twist on Molly that does something to the brains. They're gonna figure out a way to squash it, and if we are not organized, they will destroy us in this movement. I have been asked to remind you that not only are we under physical attack, we are under mental and emotional and psychological attack. I From am the going to the FTB to us, of us, to so the lies they're telling our children and them institutions of miseducation. <laughs> so everywhere you look and turn and all you see, is their fear of us reflected in them in what they display us to be. We are under attack. And so as this wraps up today, there are healing stations for you back in Oscar Grand Plaza. There are sisters and brothers, black sisters and brothers, waiting for you to offer physical, mental, and emotional healing. Yes. So we are going to close this up. I will. Yes, bring up. Sorry. I will you be going to the FTP march at five o'clock. Uh, this is wrapping up. I want to catch as much of this, the end of this, as possible um, before I leave to go catch the FTP march. What? We're just gonna stay on message to let the mic go. Want to introduce Brother Muhammad from the mosque in St. Louis? Okay. 
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. I just want to make an announcement and a statement. Mike Brown Jr. will be here tomorrow. I came in early to organize it. He was in Washington uh, with uh, Al Sharpton's march. But we'll be at Reverend Amos's church, uh, Third Baptist Church in San Francisco. It holds about 2,000 people and we want to pack it. Tomorrow we're going to ask him to say a word about the murder of his son in the streets of St. Louis. And all of you who looked at it across the country, the reason that Darren Wilson was prancing back and forth like a lion in the cage, because the cover-up in the police department is historical. They do not believe in the state of Missouri that no white policeman should go to jail for killing a black man. That's and right. usually they control the con crime scene, but this one they couldn't control it because the young people were out there with their phones. That's right. Every step of it. That's right. I just told my grandson that nothing like this has happened before in the history of America. Seize this moment to make a difference and bring this thing down. You can do it if you stay together. Don't let them divide you. They will divide you. They will have you fighting with one another. Your ego will get in the way. But if you want to make a change in America completely, this is the hour to do it. And we have been waiting for this hour after thousands of our young brothers have been killed. And in two weeks, it's out of the news and we bury them, shed a tear and keep stepping. Let's make the change right now. And we can make this change if we stay together. Thank you. I see several streamers. We got Bella right here too. The live stream Baptist.com is another live stream. Because we know this is an epidemic, I do have more families that have lost loved ones to state terrorism. I'm gonna ask Sister Nell, who actually we talked about that bar shut down, right? Yeah. Sister Nell was was the one with her neck locked to the pole outside the bar train. Thank you so much, Kat. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to see that the, the throngs are out here supporting us. It's very touching and moving, but we need you to take action, okay? In 1970, my brother died on the streets of Warren, Ohio, after J. Edgar Hoover declared the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense Breakfast Program the greatest threat to national security. Okay, they don't mind killing Hello. us, they don't mind at all. It's profitable for them. So we're here to say we are finished with that forever. This and today. This and today. Ayanna Jones, Shelly Fry, who they just murdered in Houston, Texas, at the Walmart. Okay? I'm standing today. right in front of the speaker. Heard, it's not only that they're shooting us down. Marissa Directly in front of the person speaking. Held in prison in Florida for firing a warning shot, and she didn't hurt nobody. Yeah. Angela Corey couldn't get it because I'm right in, George Zimmerman. I'm right in front of the person speaking. And he killed Trayvon Martin, Martin, and there was no question about it. So we're going to get Marissa Alexander out of jail. Yeah. Rick Scott. I'm we headed to the plaza for the FTP march. In a minute. Corey. Judge James Daniel, we're coming to get Marissa Alexander out of jail. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm going right, to have to call you. I'm going to introduce Sister Kat now. Okay. Bobby Black Panther. All right. I'm here speaking today for my son, Malad Baldwin. He was a victim April in Antioch, California. They profiled him in front of my house in the passenger seat of my car. They did not know pictures were being taken. They fabricated charges on my son. 
when his attorney did pitch his motions on the officers, all of them had backgrounds of fabricating uh, reports on African Americans in Antioch, California. Had it not been for the pictures, my son would be in jail today. I watched the beating. What could I do with two police having my son in handcuffs, beating him unconscious, holding him down? What was I to do but sit there and watch and ask them, what are you doing? What protocol is this? For them to tell me, shut the fuck up. Take my son to the hospital. Do a legal toxicology on him and fabricate that he was drunk and beat up the police. Had it not been for these bitches, my son would be in prison, but right now he's in the house. He's scared to come outside. We're hurting. They need to stop now. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Chair for the BSU at UC Berkeley, and we are here today. And while I'm out here, I want to say that this shit has to stop. For I real, love the fact real. that we're taking direct action because this, this shit has been going on for over 400 years, right? Right. For me, Mike Brown was murdered 400 years ago. Right. And shit is not gonna stop until we come together, bring our energy together, and bring our our politics, anything, whatever it is, we need to come together as one and fight, right? And also, I want to say while we're hurting, while we're healing, right? This shit hurts. People are crying. People's brothers and sisters are fucking dying out here. When that's happening, we all seem to heal each other. So love each other. Love your brother. Love your sister. Thank you, y'all. Peace. It is our duty to love one another. I think it's very important to continue to iterate that it was young black people that did this today. It was a march called for by young black people. And it was called in the face of what was called for in D.C. That bull. And actually young black people <laughs> took that over today. They occupied the stage and shut the politicians down this morning. <laughs> and so as we open, I just want to remind people again, I was talking about organization, and I want to call out the Blackout Collective. <laughs> Malcolm X Grassroots Organizing Committee. The CRT. Honest Organizing Committee. Get in an organization, get yourself organized. It is the only way we sustain this. It is the only way we sustain this. It's to organize together. So as we began, I'm gonna call the sister to come back up to close us out. Hello. Now open the mic. Yeah. There's other people who want to speak. Back up, the man. Back up, Bam. Back up, Bam. Back up, Bam. We are not opening the mic. Back up, Bam. I got 
Not Hannibal. What? What's going on there? What's going on there? Hey, y'all. Can I get y'all's attention for a minute? Where's the Wote Wawatu? Where's the Wote Wawatu? Where's the Wote Wawatu? That means power to the people. I, I just wanted to get y'all attention for a second and, and put a name in y'all's heads. Milton Hall. Milton Hall was my big cousin. He was my father's first cousin and my second cousin. My father and him grew up together as children. In 2012, Saginaw Police Department pumped 42 bullets into his chest. On video, it was a firing squad of eight police officers lined up to kill one black man for supposedly taking a cup of coffee out of a convenience store. There's a fucking police march at five o'clock. Now, that was my cousin. It didn't take for my cousin to get killed for me to know we need to fight back. We was already fighting back when I got the news about my cousin. We was already organizing and mobilizing when I got that news. And I want to urge y'all to think about this. Don't wait for your family to get touched, because it's coming. If you black, if you brown, you got a target on your back. And the only thing that's going to remove that target is us working together and coming together to organize power in our communities. We all got different ideas about what change looks like. We all have different methods and modes of struggling, and it's important that everyone be able to struggle in the way that's meaningful to them. Now, having said that, I understand there's a lot of people out here and there's other things going on today. This event is about to come to a close. I just want people to know there's other things going on. I, I'm not going to announce those things, but don't go home yet. Right. I wasn't going to get back up here, but I need to say this. All of us here today have to work together. We have to. If we don't work together, divided we cannot stand. But united we could stand and we could work as one. So when the organizer has concluded, it's for us to submit and accept that and to move forward. We have to, again, work together as one. Because when we work together as one, we have more power together. And that's what we need to have, the power. It's not about who's in charge. It's not about I need to be in charge. But it's about learning to submit as well as working together and saying that we can accomplish what we are here to accomplish. And what we're here to accomplish is to ensure that this nation is not divided any longer, but we stand as one nation under God, realizing that all men are created equal. Thank you, Sister Wanda. There are lots of actions, there are lots of tactics, there are lots of leaders, there are lots of followers. We should continue to call actions. You should continue to call actions. You should lead those actions. And we should respect each other's diversity of tactics and respect the leadership at the individual actions That's so right. that there's space for all of us. That's yeah. right. Yeah. What's happening now? I want to thank you all again for coming. I am so full of joy to see all these faces out here united for one cause. I'm elated to have all these brown and, and black people surrounding me here on this stage. But it also, it also fills my heart with joy to see all these non-brown and black people out here supporting their brothers and sisters. 
to a certain degree, this system is set up to benefit you. The fact that you're out here and you realize your humanity and our humanity and you're fighting for the equal treatment of all of us is a beautiful thing. We can only ask that you be ambassadors and go into your own communities and try to reiterate the message that you're here today. It's not easy to be a minority in America. Please go into your communities and express all the things that you heard here today. Education and outreach is the only way we can facilitate systemic change. I love you all. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to close up here and we're going to do so in chat. So, I'm going to say it, I need you to repeat after me. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect each other. We must love and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect each other. We must love and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect each other. We must love and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. I. Hey, 
you know what's going on in San Francisco? Uh, no. We're going from the third building over to the city hall. Yeah, you don't need one? Okay, you guys, so I'm going to bring it down for a minute so you can look at the back of heads like I don't have a, a, a what is this thing called? A selfie rod? <laughs> well, not really, because I just filmed thousands of people with a little short ass, so this is awesome. Is that a selfie? And it's 12 bucks. It was 12 bucks. Yeah, and I can hold my phone and it's pretty awesome. You're really appropriating it for a legitimate purpose. I did not jail, film the Jail Darren Wilson now! Jail Darren Wilson now! Jail Darren Wilson now! Jail Darren Wilson now! Yeah, right, because that's going to happen. <laughs> hey! No, this ain't an iPhone. It's an Android. Uh huh? Hey, so y'all going to the plaza, right? That's where we're headed? Because awesomeness is going to happen at the plaza. Right. Let's go to the plaza. For awesomeness. Hey, but you know I like the... Hold on. Can you tell me about the healing, the healing station? I didn't organize the healing stations, but I know that they're back at the plaza. I would imagine there's like water and probably uh, some snacks. You know, little things like that, maybe. If you fell or something, there's probably like some first aid. Yeah, like even emotional support. I think there are stations there for that. Okay. That's 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 been the style at the plaza a lot. Okay. Yeah. Y'all uh -huh. know if y'all watch my stream, we're gonna be around the music. I feel like Emma Goldman. If I can't dance. watching my stream there is awesomeness about to happen at the plaza we have a lot of allies the black lives matter I've been running into a lot of friends so you got to excuse the friendly hellos <laughs> it's good to see some of my Occupy Oakland folks out here definitely hope that the police don't turn this into another Occupy Oakland like scenario with tear gas I kind of love it because the general consensus without even talking about it is always take the street. Like, fuck it, we in the street. No if and buts about it. Don't get on the sidewalk. So as you can see, there are hundreds of people ahead of me. The music is behind me. This little monopod thing is cool, y'all. <laughs> So you can see there are, I'd say thousands of people out here. At this point, it's so many, I can't estimate. Uh, I'm making my way through the crowd. Slowly but surely, you know I always end up in the front. 
It always trips me out that people march through the street talking about no justice, no peace, but then scream it's a peaceful protest. Well, make up your fucking mind, because the peace that this is, is the peace we get fucking killed under. So it ain't no goddamn peace. I don't want that peace. I don't want that peace, because they peace is where we get fucking murdered. This makes me happy. Right. Well, what's about to happen probably makes me happy. Hey, you seen Matt? Uh, he's yeah, but fuck that. I'm Bella Echo Media. I'm from myself. I came straight out of Occupy Oakland because I'm an Oakland dirt from the seminary in a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Came out here. You know, this is a good one. Right. You know, okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I'm the good one. <laughs> I'm on the right side. So you reporting the real shit. Wait, what? I got another one of these in my backpack. I got another one in my backpack. Where was this? It's a free app. You can download it. You stream or live stream. I'm sorry. You link it to your Facebooks and your Twitter, and you just start going. Wait, do you have your phone hooked up? Uh huh. Do you have your phone hooked up to a hard drive? You know, this is a charger. Yeah. This is like seven hours. Four guys. Four black guys. Well, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. I'd say that's cause for some sort of uh, action. Yes, I am. Is how I choose to say that. Come on, Jesse, stick with me. You know, I'm, I'm on one. Or I'll see you at the plaza. We're real good. Hey. Okay, well, MTP is starting at 4.30 now, so maybe we we'll right, so Yeah. We're going to keep it straight. The word is straight, MTP start at 4.30 now. So. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, I love that wig today. You probably have a hard job. Hey, that girl gone. How you feel about the government? How you feel about everything? Fuck the police! How you feel about everything? Fuck the police! <laughs> turn up, don't turn down, we do this for Mike Brown. Turn up, don't turn down, do this for Mike Brown. Turn up, don't turn down, we do this for Mike Brown. Turn up, don't turn down, we do this for Mike Brown. Turn up, don't turn down, we do this for Mike Brown. 
Turn up, don't turn down. We do this for Mike Brown. We can remix that to say something about the town, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. We should think about that because this is a good opportunity. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you might need those. They are already stationed all around the city. I've been looking at them all through the East Coast. Website. Bella Echo Media. Yeah, all you gotta do you won't get arrested. Bella Echo Media. No, it's so I can spread the word so people can find my shit. Yeah. If you just look at Bella and Occupy Oakland, hell of shit should pop up. Today. Uh, just Google it, everything should pop up. My Twitter and everything. Michael Brown, you got down, love down, from the town. <laughs> what is it? Type of what? D E L L A and then E I K O. Down, down. All one word. If you type it in together, back. it should pull up. Make your page with all that. Hands down, shoot back. This up. Fight back. Hands down, shoot back. Fight back. Hands down, shoot back. This up. Fight back. This up, fight back. Right here. He's a legal reserve. This up, fight That's back. Every time you see him, you like to see them. Because they don't want to be stupid. They know the deal. Okay? They out here taking notes and all kind of shit. Yeah, I'm just looking at like They doing it for the bail. Okay, so they didn't have to do this time. Shoot back. This up, fight back. Hands down, shoot back. This up, fight back. No more pigs in our community! No more pigs in our community! Don't talk to police! Oh, Michael, you like that? <laughs> I thought I've been here. Y'all knew. <laughs> There's the other march on 13th. We're coming up on 12th. So you have parallel blocks being taken by the march that is split up, but it's marching side by side back to the plaza. What'd you say? Hands up! Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Symphony in 
Well, that fuck the police song went well. It was like a fucking symphony and shit. Awesome. Fuck the police! 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 Only good cop is a dead cop! Oi, oi! Bang, bang! Oh, oh, oh! I said you gotta go now! Hey, hey, hey! You ain't got it! Hey, hey! 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 Hey, Fuck the police! 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 <laughs> that is <laughs> <laughs> Hey, leave that all to the law. You get ran up. 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 I don't know about everybody else, but mine is for sure to turn up strength. Oink, oink! Bang, bang! Bang, bang! Bang, bang! Bang, bang! Bang, bang! Bang, bang! Pig, hey, pig, hey! That's not the first one. Pig, hey, pig, hey. Hey, hey. You gotta go now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like skipping like a schoolgirl. Oh, shit. Y'all, tonight is about to be glorious. What do you think? <laughs> oh, interesting is definitely the word. FTP! Y'all supposed to go fuck the police. That's how that works. <laughs> FTP, fuck the police. FTP, fuck the police. Hey, an armed citizen, baby. All I got is a phone. He doesn't even know me. He doesn't even acknowledge it. I'm walking on. What makes he was blinded sense? by all that Hello Kitty. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you too. Hey, I know it's been a minute. How you doing? It's good to see y'all. Beautiful. Hey, Debbie, give me one. Vegas. Oh, I live in Vegas. <laughs> Y'all can visit Vegas. 
They're having, they're having protests every night for 30 days. We can check out the strip that has billions of dollars worth of income every night. We can majorly disrupt some capitalism. Boing, boing, bang, bang. <laughs> I am welcome to find you with that one because I heard what you said. I'm gonna walk around because I gotta find. Yeah, you gotta. A job. We should stick together. I wanna walk this up somewhere, but I probably. We should stick together like old school times. I'm gonna beat you with my other camera rod if you don't start fucking replying and helping me with Bel Air media. On Twitter? On all of it. On everything. I have so many things on Twitter. I'm just like, I have so many things that I need to tell you about the fact that I'm solidifying Bella Echo Media and trying to find a way for us to really be paid to do this. So you need to be fucking helping me. If you don't have a choice, fucking do it. We don't pay you to feel up. That's it. You don't? I need correspondence. I'm the head of Who's Kevin Tim? Yeah, we hate you. I don't even see. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Okay. But you asked me a question. I didn't Okay. All right. to get loud. I can hear you. I don't talk to police. I just was filming it. Oh, I don't talk to police. I cut them out of the Hi. Thank you, officers. For we wasted our taxpayer dollars. There you go. How you doing? I am too. I'm very happy. So sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm only home for a little while though. So I'm gonna be doing. You made a one when I last saw you. Huh? You had two. What? No, I don't know. Just one. Just the one. Just the one. Because he got so big so fast. <laughs> no, I'm like, oh hell no. I just got the one. He's um, he, he's 19 months. Yeah. So he's almost two years old. Yeah. So I wanted to film without being worried, but he's at my family's house. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and be able to focus on him. Yeah. How you been? It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. I don't know how to find out what's happening. I don't know what I streamed or whatever. I was, I was late coming, and I, you know, how do you find out anything? Twitter. I used to watch you. Twitter and Facebook oh. event. I mean, I do my best, but Twitter and Facebook event. Well, my problem is I'm not on Twitter. Ooh, hold on. I post a lot to the Bella Echo page. Hello? Okay. Hello? Oh, okay. I'm, okay, we just got back to the plaza. Me too. Right by the BART station elevator where it's right next to those green things behind it. I don't know if we're going to shut down BART. There sure are a lot of cancer stick smokers out here. Cigarettes are going to be illegal. <laughs> huh? If you smoke cigarettes around I'm right me, here on 14, <laughs> looking at Broadway. <laughs> oh, yeah, look it up. In fact, they only take one puff. 7,000 chemicals, you're killing us. Christy! The police of cancer. <laughs> Who is he? You don't remember him from TAC? No. Julian. Julian Julian from Tactical Action Committee when they first were starting. Start. I know he's all grown up now. <laughs> Shut up, because you all grown up now. I'm being grown. I just finally got the facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the struggle was real for some of us. Hey, you know what? You used to always get arrested and you I was know. just cracking jokes. Janarita, I was talking shit in jail. <laughs> They searched me again. I'm like, why do you need Hey, y'all. Oh, yeah. I went and filmed Covington. That was like, especially for everybody in the stream. Y'all, I remember Officer Covington. Yeah. We Officer all Covington. hate you. Come on, on him. We all hate you. That was awesome. Yeah. We used to have an FTP march. That was the day time. that the they windows really at the top like bar magically broke. Like remember that? Right? They just fell apart. It's fucking cheap labor. Oh, yeah. It's good. Right? I know they cried. That freedom of speech. What the hell is that? All right. So the house nigga in the mouth. What the hell is that across the street, people? And that orange. I do. I see that. I see. I see the house nigga in the mask left. Oh. Okay, so isn't there a march supposed to start at five o'clock? Hey, what is that? Hey, house nigga. Hey, house nigga. I really do. 
this this shit's fresh. Oh. We got a lot of house in it. Uh, of yeah. course, I'm saying, but I mean, not in our shit, but I mean, in this cop world. You got massa, and you got house niggas under the same organization. And it ain't right. We just ask this black cop, how do he feel about cops murdering his people? Well, you know what? You should have asked him about Howard Morgan because Howard Morgan was a black police officer that got shot 28 times by four white police officers, and now he has to do 40 years in prison for defending himself when he was lucky enough to live. Okay, what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? There was another uh, black military officer who was beaten, an NYPD officer. Him and his son were beaten for fitting the description. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even your kids. It's you. They would do that shit to you. And you want to be out here oppressing us. Hey. Hey, how you doing? It's been a while. I don't give a fuck about you. Pretty good. How about you? He's good. I'm going to tell you good. like this. I give a fuck about you. About here, yeah. More than you give a fuck about yourself, folks. I'm going to just keep it solid. I give a fuck about you. More than you care about yourself half the time, man. It's just you got to think, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, put this shit down, man. Okay. Let, let them see that, man. You know what that shit means? That's, that's not of this world. Period. You, you have to have a certain mind frame to think like this. What these words are saying, that shit, that shit goes on fucking, that shit goes on motherfucking, they say sky's the limit, nigga, sky ain't the motherfucking limit, nigga, this shit push past my space, nigga, nigga, I'm talking about nigga shit behind the sky, bro, so nigga, there's no limit, nigga, no limit, bro, to how you are as a person, a human being, you got to love life, period, I mean, from down to the motherfucking ground, to the green grass that grow out your motherfucking door. That grows out somebody else or animals, all kind of shit. And then not just motherfucking black lives, all lives, goddammit, matter. But the only difference is motherfucking no. people. You know what? All lives shit, matter. Bro. All lives matter, but we don't need to be standing here fucking chanting that. We yeah, need that to chant cool. black lives matter because they fucking off. forgot that shit. Law enforcement and the judicial system and society at large don't think that black lives matter. So that's why that shit needs to be said. When white people are in the street screaming that all lives matter and it's their street, I already fucking know it's your street and I know that your life matter. But they forgot that my life and my son's life matter. So that's why that shit... My daughter's life matter too, God damn it. That's a girl. She with me like like culture, ain't no culture without black culture. Like, see, with me, like, it's not, it's not just about the police. It's about us killing each other. Like, like we don't need to do that. It's not just about the police and they and what they do. It's about us. We gotta uplift each other. If we out here shooting each other, we we can't never get nowhere. If we out here shooting each other, if we just if we just bond together and just uplift each other, then we can get somewhere. Where y'all streaming? Why you just don't get a metro phone and stream? We about to go by the music. We about to go by the music. We be back over here.
I was like, wait, I was looking for the wrong crowd. Where y'all at? <laughs> And a Wells Fargo and a Bank of America. 